All right, let's talk about a huge hidden danger that's probably lurking in your crypto wallet right now. It's called token approvals, and what you don't know about them could be leaving your funds wide open to attack. So let's dive in and get this sorted. So here's the game plan. We're gonna start by uncovering this secret backdoor in your wallet, and then we'll break down exactly how it gets created. Then we'll dig into what I call the forever key danger, show you how to slam that door shut, walk you through a super fast security check, and wrap up with some habits to keep you safe for good. Okay, let's get right into it. This whole security risk, it all starts with something you've probably done a hundred times without a second thought. Let me just ask you this straight up. Have you ever used a DAP? You know, swapped a token on Uniswap, maybe listed an NFT on OpenSea? If the answer is yes, then I've got some news for you. You've almost certainly left a digital backdoor to your crypto wallet wide open. So how on earth does this even happen? Well, to really get it, we need to peek under the hood a little bit. It all comes down to two big ideas, smart contracts and permissions. First up, the smart contract. Now, the easiest way to think about this is like a super smart vending machine. You put your money in, you press the button for what you want, and the machine just automatically spits it out. No cashier, no middleman. It's just code on the blockchain that follows the rules no matter what. And these things are the engine behind everything in DeFi. They automate all our trades. They run the dApps we use every day. They manage our tokens and NFTs. They're literally the backbone of this entire world. And that brings us to the most important piece of the puzzle, the token approval. I want you to think of this like a valet key for your car. When you hand that key over, you're not giving the valet ownership of your car, right? Of course not. You're just giving them permission to move it for you. A token approval is the exact same thing, but for your crypto. So picture this, you go to a decentralized exchange, a DEX, and you wanna trade some tokens. Before you can make the trade, your wallet pops up and asks you to approve the transaction. That's you handing over the valet key. It's a totally necessary step, but it's also the exact moment the risk begins. And this is where things get a little spooky. We're diving into what I call the forever key danger. This is all about how a simple yes you clicked on months or even years ago can come back to bite you. Here's the kicker, the part that trips everyone up. When you give ADAPT that permission, it doesn't just expire after you're done. No, in most cases, that approval stays active forever. That means if some random DAP you use once gets hacked two years from now, the attackers can use that old, forgotten permission you gave it to walk right in and drain your wallet. And this right here, this is the biggest myth in crypto wallet security. So many people think, oh, I'll just hit the disconnect button in MetaMask and I'm safe. That does almost nothing. Disconnecting just makes the website forget your address. That permission, that valet key is still live on the blockchain. The only way to actually protect yourself is to go to the source and revoke it. Okay, okay, that's the bad news. Sounds pretty serious, I know. But don't worry, because now we pivot to the good part, the solution. Let's talk about taking back control and hiring a security guard for your wallet. And that security guard is a tool called Revoke Cash. It's super simple. It's basically a dashboard that shows you every single one of those forever permissions you've ever handed out. It just lays it all out in the open so you can see exactly who has a key to your funds. So why bother with it? Well, it boils down to three really important things. You stop old shady dabs from having access. You slash your risk if a promo doll you once used gets hacked. And honestly, it's just good wallet hygiene. You got a clean house every once in a while. Now for the best part. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. It's a simple five-step security check, and I promise you, cleaning up your wallet security is gonna take you less than two minutes. It really is this easy. Step one, you just go to the revoke.cash website. Two, you connect your wallet. Three, you pick which blockchain you wanna check, like Ethereum or BNB chain. Four, the site just magically pulls up a list of every single act of approvals. And five, for anything you don't recognize or don't use anymore, you just hit revoke and confirm. Boom, done. Oh, and just a quick heads up. Since you're making a change on the blockchain, revoking a permission is technically a transaction. That means it will cost a tiny little bit in gas fees. But hey, think of it as a super cheap insurance policy for your crypto. All right, we're in the home stretch. Let's talk about making this a habit. This isn't just a one-time thing, it's about developing smart wallet hygiene to stay secure for the long haul. First, let's get a big one out of the way. I know what you're thinking. Hey, I've got a hardware wallet, one of those fancy ones, so I'm safe from this, right? And the answer, which might surprise you, is a hard no. 
Hardware wallets are amazing for one thing, protecting your private keys from being stolen. But an approval exploit doesn't steal your keys. It just uses a permission you already gave it. So even the best hardware wallet in the world offers zero protection from this specific attack. Okay, so that brings up the next big question. You open the tool, you see this long list of approvals. Which ones should you actually get rid of? Honestly, it's a balancing act between safety and convenience. For huge, battle-tested dApps like Uniswap, leaving an approval active is probably fine. It saves you a little gas next time you trade. But that weird experimental dApp you tried out six months ago? Yeah, you should probably revoke that one. So to wrap it all up, here are the golden rules. First, make a habit of checking your approvals, maybe once a month. Second, whenever a dApp lets you only approve the exact amount of tokens you're spending, not an unlimited amount. And finally, just be skeptical. Be extra careful with new, unaudited dApps. And that's it. At the end of the day, you are the gatekeeper of your wallet's permissions. You're in control. So I'll just leave you with this question. Which forgotten approval is sitting in your wallet right now, just waiting for the wrong person to find it? Go check it out.